Hey folks, welcome back to another one of my vlog series videos. Um, just a little bit of an update. I've started on some shelving here in the room. So I can start getting some damn action figures out. Um, so yeah, as you can sort of see, it's, uh, it's a little bit of a little bit chaotic at the moment. I've got tubs and stuff everywhere. I've started work on the shelves. Um, so here's the first one. So if I can get back here a little bit more. So this is, this is about 18, 1800 high. So just, just a little bit taller than me. Uh, each shelf is about 540 mil deep. And 15, 1200 wide, I think. Might have been, yeah, 1200 wide, I think these ones are. You know what? I'm pretty sure 1200. We're just going to measure them up. The trusty tape measure, yeah, 1200. And 47 inches. So yeah, I'm I'm excited. Oh, good. I do have an extra shelf here. Um, I kind of left the gap at the bottom just for storage of these tubs. When I've got all the figures out, I thought you know they'd be good. I still want to keep all the tubs because you never know when you need to pack again. <laughs> so I thought that under space underneath um, would be good. Still not sure. I might end up just being able to stack them up and put them away. Um, my sort of idea was I didn't want to have anything too close to the floor, but I might end up doing that um, and just bumping, you know, them up a little bit. So just a just a trial and error for now. Um, so my aim is sort of working back from uh, the sequels, which will go on there. That's sail barge. Um, we're gonna have some Endor. And probably getting into some Empire Strikes Back, there is a lot of space. Like I said, there are 450 wide, uh, 4, 4, 50, 540 deep. So there is a lot of space here for stuff. So, and I know things like the Cloud City Chamber are um, going to take up some space. The top shelf, I don't want to have figures on the top. That's just going to be for displays, um, big box, um, helmets, that sort of thing. Um, because I do want to have some artwork up along the wall there, as I've mentioned in the past. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd give you a brief update. I'm going to continue on. So, oh, before I continue on, I did get a pegboard that fits onto the side of this one. That's going to be for carded, carded figures. That's all going to sit on there. Um, obviously, the lighting is going to be paramount here, so... The future holds, I'm hoping, you know, some strip lighting that can sort of sit underneath that rail on each shelf, which should really illuminate each shelf really well um, and be able to just sort of tuck the wires in the corner here or back here. Um, so that's going to be, that's going to be sort of fun to play with is getting it all lit up on each shelf. Um, so yeah, I've got room for another one there. And I'm hoping that will pretty much cover all my three and three quarter, three three quarter inch stuff. So yeah, I sort of seeing this bottom shelf here. There's going to be sort of sequels, maybe like End of Return of the Jedi, Battle of Endor, um, some stuff like that. Now uh, we'll see. But yeah, sail barge, and then you know maybe the Razor Crest in that shelf before we go back to Empire. I'm not sure yet. I haven't 100% decided how this is all going to work. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to work on black series after that. So, because there's a lot of, a lot of rearranging I'm going to have to do in here to, to make it all happen the way I want it to. But, um, yeah, it's going to be work in progress, but it's going to be fun. So I'll check back in shortly. All right, folks, here we are. These shelves are set up and ready to go. I'm getting pretty pumped. <laughs> <laughs> getting into some of these tubs finally um yeah i'm really really excited about this to be honest still a little bit of room in the corner there i'm thinking maybe another one of these to sort of butt into that corner there that will you know extend 
extend these shelves into that gap. So that's something I'm considering. And you know, it would only sort of bring it out to about the desk. Um, and then maybe another one where my desk is. And I'm just going to have to do some reshuffling. Because uh, I need that sort of wall there for, for Black Series. And I think these shelves, um, one of these, is going to be perfect for Black Series, honestly. Um, I'm going to be able to get the whole collection out on one of these. Um, just because the shelves are so deep, allow a lot of room. I don't have a hammer at the moment, so I was using a meat tenderizer <laughs> just to knock these shelves in. But um, at the moment, I've got my sort of carded figures out and I'm putting them on the pegboard. Um, I know it's it's a little bit of a dark corner around here. But yeah, just started fitting these on. So what I'm doing is I've got a little, a little bowl of nuts and bolts. So I'm doing like a... Let's see, let's sort of see, see here, just a, an extra nut there on the inside, just so it can have that sort of bolt sort of just hanging out a little bit. So a little bit of needs to wipe over. Um, and yeah, this sort of leaves, leaves some good space. So I don't know whether I'm going to get them all hung up on here. There is a fair bit of space and I do have some more in, in there. So that may mean you know maybe i don't know i'm still working that out I'm, I'm i'm keen to give it a shot and see we'll see what I can come up with um yeah just just to get these nice and close together i've just zip tied them just one at the front two at the front and um yeah i'll have to get some more for the back initially i tried keeping all the shelves at the same level but because i decided to leave that bottom one open um, I ended up using the extra shelf on this one, um, leaving a slightly bigger gap there because I know the Battle of Geonosis is going to go there. So we're going to go some do some like Phantom Menace, early Attack of the Clones will fit in here, Battle of Geonosis on this shelf. Um, this one here, I'm actually going to bump this shelf down a fraction because the sail barge is going to go up the top there and the Razor Crest is going to go here trying to stick with a little bit of chrono chronology there. Um, so I'm excited about that. So Razor Crest, um, Book of Boba Fett, Ahsoka series stuff, that's all gonna belong in there for the moment. Like that's that's just sort of my my game plan. So I'm gonna have plenty of room for some Clone Wars, Revenge of the Sith, New Hope, not sure how, yeah, Empire Strikes Back. Got some work to do, it's gonna be good. Um, so it's just, just working out how it's all gonna fit together. Um, and yeah, lighting is definitely going to be a very early prerequisite here. Um, so I'm going to be sorting that out uh, very, very shortly. Um, within the next couple of weeks, I definitely want to get some um, lighting sorted because uh, with the lighting up here, it does cast a lot of shadows on those shelves and I want to get them nice and, nice and illuminated. So definitely going to go spend some good money on some strip lighting and get those shelves looking really nice and bright. Um, for once the figures are all up there but yeah i'm just going to be chipping away at this maybe get the barge in there um get it off the coffee table here and then uh you know over the next week or so start getting some figures on shelves um work out exactly where i'm going to display things um looking forward to it really really exciting stuff all right folks so i've spent a few hours in here today uh really just sort of getting into these three and three quarter inch tubs and it's just sort of trying to pair up accessories, group them together, making sure they're all in the right places. Um, have managed to get one shelf filled. And I'll show you, this is pretty much my sequel trilogy. I'll just use my phone light just to shine in there a little bit. So this goes through all three sequel films. It's got the Pose X-Wing there and the very underserved Rise of Skywalker in terms of characters in the figure line. A couple have already fallen over, but that's all right. So up here, sort of got some of the play sets. Um, yeah, they're just ready for their homes. Sail barge here and the skiffs really neat. That Sarlacc pit. <laughs> Cannot wait to do something there in the middle. This is definitely a nice centerpiece. I mean, the barge always has been, but 
There's a good size shelf there for it. Uh, Razor Crest, I've decided it's going to be up there. Um, yeah, it's just, I don't know, I like, I might want to make use of the flight stand there and, you know, that, that may change, that may change. So here just sort of some more vehicles that I've dug out. This guy, just starting on the uh, Phantom Menace sort of stuff up here. Again, just sort of organizing, getting everything out. It's my pile of Phantom Menace related figures. Attack of the Clones, Geonosis Serena there. And that's all sort of episode two and three figures there. So it's just, a bit, yeah, getting them into piles and being able to sort of start getting them all together. Um, yeah, it's a big job, but it's good. It's finally getting getting into this stuff again. It's a, it's a good feeling, it really is. So yeah, it's already cleared out one, two, three tubs, nearly two more there, just sort of splitting them into tubs. And uh, yeah, making some real progress here. So uh, yeah, it's not gonna happen overnight and that's fine. And yeah, as I stated earlier, some carded figures here on the on the pegboard and that looks quite nice happy with that and still got a big box of carded figures that may end up just sort of spotted around after maybe get another pegboard for the other end we're well, not sure I mean I know it's not gonna be able to, it's not gonna go around there because you're not gonna be able to see it but we'll work that out as I go along Anyway, folks, I'm going to leave it there for this week. I'll definitely check back in next week um, with how progress goes setting up all the three and three quarter inch stuff. It's just, uh, yeah, trying to work out where everything's going to go. <laughs> it's how it's all going to space out and everything like that. It's going to be fun. But yeah, definitely keen to get some lights happening and that'll really really set it off all right folks stay tuned for some more content this week i've got some more reviews got some figures coming in i'm excited about hope you can tune in and join me for those love to hear your thoughts any ideas please sound out and uh we'll see you very soon for more until then may the force be with you always